Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Fischel, and welcome to bonus weather video number one for this week. And we're going to talk about winter outlooks. Do they tell us everything about what's likely to transpire over that approximately 90-day period? I would argue that while they may be fairly accurate in terms of the overall seasonal average, the details are definitely left out. So, I took a look at the last 13 winters, and I'm going to make myself disappear here so you can actually see this chart. There we go. Bye-bye. Um, so these were the forecasts uh, for each winter, the temperature forecast, the precipitation forecast. And when you see equal chances, I know you're probably sitting there thinking, well, gosh, I could say that. <laughs> but what the folks at NOAA are saying is that there is no clear signal one way or the other to tell them whether or not it's favored to be above normal or below normal. There's just, just as good of a chance of either one happening. And you have seasons like that. Uh, and uh, so that's what that means. But uh, anyway, uh, I want to take a look at four specific seasons here and, uh, and highlight some interesting things. So if you're a winter weather lover, that you don't give up uh, hope altogether. In the year 2010, or the winter of 2010-2011, uh, the temperature forecast was for above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. Now, the precipitation forecast verified for the whole season. The temperature forecast bombed. It was very cold that winter. Uh, made it as low as 16, and we had 9 inches of snow. So, again, the forecast was for above normal temperatures, below normal precip, but it ended up being cold, and we got a fair amount of snow. Now, in the winter of 2017-2018, uh, the forecast was for above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. Now, that actually verified uh, over the entire season with above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. So it actually uh, verified quite nicely, but it got down to four degrees that winter, and we had over seven inches of snow. So again, just because the seasonal average ends up being a certain way does not preclude the possibility of anomalous events in the other direction. And let's take a look at a couple of the equal chances winter forecasts. 2013 and 2014, the forecast was for equal chances of, of temperatures being above or below normal and below normal precipitation. It ended up being normal for temperature and above normal precipitation. So the precipitation forecast uh, was not all that terribly good. And we got down to seven that winter and had 5.6 inches of snow. And finally, if we take a look at the winter of 2018-2019, the forecast was for equal chances and above, and we verified above and above, so we verified mild with above normal precipitation, but it made it down to 17 that winter, and we had 8.9 inches of snow. So what I'm trying to get across here is that uh, the seasonal average of you know, average over 90 days may very well verify, okay, in a couple of these cases it didn't, but in many cases it does, but that does not mean that the entire winter is shot. It means that you can still have these unusual periods, maybe for a week or two, uh, that uh, satisfy the snow lovers and then uh, get right back to the above normal temperatures not too long after that. And if we take a look at the winter forecast for the winter of 2022-23, it is going for above normal temperatures with the coldest air being up near the U.S.-Canadian border. Uh, in fact, this is likely to be the third consecutive winter with La Nina conditions, and that tends to favor mild weather across the south and drier weather across the south, as you can see here. But you may look at that as a winter weather lover and say, oh, no, another one. But... It's possible, it's still possible that there may be a couple of periods of time this winter, even if this verifies, that we may still have some wintry weather. So for you winter weather lovers, I don't want you to give up hope. For those of you that hate winter, I know you hope that this is not only verifying for a seasonal average, but is the case every single day of this winter. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put myself back in the picture here. Isn't that just amazing how that can be done? All right, that's bonus weather video number one for this week. We'll have another one for you coming up on Friday and another daily weather update coming up for you tomorrow. We'll see you then.